With Adafruit's CircuitPython code editor, you can edit code from a web browser. This lets you connect via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or USB. The editor features autocomplete, a REPL serial monitor, and file management tools. We think this web workflow is great for dev boards that don't have native USB, like some ESP32 dev boards. To get started, we'll install CircuitPython onto our Feather ESP32 v2 using circuitpython.org. We'll search for the dev board on the website, launch the device page, and click Open Installer. On Mac and Windows, you may need to install the chip driver before installing CircuitPython on the Feather ESP32 v2. Select the Upgrade Install option and then click Connect. You can select your device from the pop-up dialog. Then click Continue. The website will erase the flash and install the latest version of CircuitPython. Once installed, you'll want to press the reset button on your dev board. We can then click close once it's completed. Now we can head over to code.circuitpython.org. Connect your dev board using our good USB data cable and then select the USB option and click connect to device. Next, we'll select our device from the list in the pop-up. Now we can click on the serial button at the bottom and verify our board is connected. We can click Open in the top menu and see all of the files and folders on our freshly installed CircuitPython drive. I'll select the code.py file and click Open. Now we can write some quick demo code. Here we have a simple rainbow animation for the built-in NeoPixel. We'll want to install some libraries, so I'll open the library folder and upload the NeoPixel library. We can then use the navigation buttons to return to the root of the drive. I'll click Save and Run. Our NeoPixel glows and we can see our output in the REPL serial monitor. We think this is a great way to write and develop CircuitPython code. We hope this inspires you to try out the CircuitPython code editor.